Hey, what's up you guys? How are you? How you doing? Uh, it's Kevin Schmidt, physical therapist, bike fitter out here in beautiful Portland, Oregon. I uh, want to get on here, give you more tips on staying active, healthy, and pain-free on the bike. And today I want to talk a little bit about lower back pain. Uh, probably one of the more common things that you're going to see uh, or experience if you're riding the bike, especially if you're long, riding longer distances. I had someone reach out to me just recently asking about lower back pain, especially with pain radiating down the leg. Uh, while pedaling. Uh, the number one thing or two things you got to figure out uh, when it comes to lower back pain is you have to understand what we want the spine to be when we're pedaling. Uh, if you are rounding your spine uh, when you're pedaling, you are going to ultimately result in lower back pain. You need to be able to keep the lower back flat. I'm going to try to demonstrate this as best I can, uh, but if we're riding, you want to make sure that the back stays flat, not rounded. So I'm going to show you kind of the difference here. So number one, Back is flat. So when we're pedaling, the back has to stay flat. The harder that we have to pedal, uh, the more it's gonna put strain on that and challenge that position. We're gonna start rounding like so. If you are riding with a completely rounded lower back, you are gonna end up getting pain because the more you pedal, the more you're putting more stress on the back and it's gonna compound over time as well. So that'd be the first thing to look at is can you establish and maintain that good flat back position? I'm gonna include an article down below uh, as well in the comments uh, that can also talk a little bit about what we call the hip hinge or keeping the back flat when we're pedaling. Number two is we gotta make sure that our saddle is not either too high or too low. If the saddle is too high, just like many things that I've talked about in these videos before, if you're reaching at the bottom of that pedal stroke, that pelvis or the lower back is gonna be rocking back and forth. That's essentially just like doing side bending back and forth on that bike uh, for your back. Over time, that will not be tolerated well, and you're gonna get pain. Uh, that's if the saddle's too high. If you're too low, you can get lower back pain as well. If you're too crunched on the bike, if you can't stretch out and reach, your body will slouch to kind of maintain that position. And the more we slouch on the bike, the more our lower back gets rounded, the more challenge and the more trouble that we're gonna have uh, with the lower back as well. So one note, uh, if you are getting symptoms radiating down the leg while pedaling, tingling and numbness down the leg, that is definitely a sign that there's something maybe a little bit more serious going on. And although I'm not here to diagnose your lower back pain, uh, definitely might want to talk to a, a healthcare professional uh, or something about that. That just means that the nerves are getting irritated. So be careful with that. So to review, the main thing you got to worry about is keep that back flat. Check out that article I dropped below uh, about the hip hinge and teaching you guys how to properly hold that posture well. Number two, you got to be able to maintain that position on the saddle while you're pedaling. If you are pedaling and you're back and you're flipping, flopping around all over on the saddle, you're not holding stable and your back is probably going to be the one that's going to take the result of that. Number two or number three, <laughs> you want to make sure your saddle is not either too high or too low, both of which can cause pain. And even being in a very upright position, like a Dutch style bike, can still be aggravating to the back because we do need to lean forward, keep that hip hinge, keep that lower back flat in order to stay stable to provide a good base of support to uh, you know, hold our body while we're pedaling, especially if we're climbing uphill uh, or more challenging terrain. So give those things a try. If you've got questions, of course, reach below or uh, reach out to me if you need it. Uh, again, Kevin Schmidt, physical therapist, bike fitter out here in Portland uh, with Pedal PT. Um, thanks so much. For watching, if there's anything you liked here, please click like and consider subscribing. It's your questions that keep this channel going. So till next time, have a great one, guys. We'll see you on the road. Peace.